At the competition this year, we raced again in Kentucky, which was the same place that we raced last year in the Formula Sun Grand Prix. We were very, very excited to come back and it was just electric. I think that is the best way to describe it. This year was really focused on reliability. How do we make this car as reliable as possible? There are gonna be a lot of bugs that just come out and boy, were there a lot of bugs, but the motors worked much more beautifully than last year and it was dead reliable the entire race. My job was to not only oversee all the electrical components and their final integration into the car, but also making sure that the future generation of leaders that stayed with us over this past summer and finished developing the car felt prepared for the race. Everybody else on the mechanical team was making sure that the wheels were ready, all the tires were sitting properly, all of our fasteners were secured. Once we were sitting in the hot pit, just waiting for the event to go off, that was the most exhilarating five to 10 minutes of the entire event, just waiting for it to start. For this race, I got to be the strategy lead. For a car to race successfully, everything has to be optimized from the amount of sunlight the panels are receiving, the state of charge of the battery, taking into account the terrain, the grade of the racetrack. The difference between last year and this year is that we have shown incredible grit as a team to visualize this potential outcome. I've become a better engineer just from building this car. We started focusing on aero efficiency. It was great to really see the progress we made throughout the race. Day one is the peak of excitement. All the work that you've done for two years culminates to that point. We realized that our car was very reliable and we were in competition for a podium finish. Day three marked some challenges for the team. We had a pit stop where we had to do a tire change. We realized that our tires were running down very quickly. We pitted immediately in the process of replacing the tires. Our front left wheel seized, meaning it was pretty much impossible to take off. We strip our tool and it was the only tool we had. So we yell over to the team right next to us and ask for a replacement tool and they so generously give it to us. With their help, we were able to remove that tire, replace it, and finally get the car back on the track. Unfortunately, it cost us first place, but it was testament to how reliable the car was otherwise. We still managed to maintain second with a decent gap. The last laps of the race were moments of joy. The entire team went up to the pit straight to cheer our driver on Kai for the final laps. The greatest feeling for me is seeing the continuity and legacy between teams. Stafford Solar Car has been around since the 1980s. Seeing people join the club and growing into engineers of the future really inspires me to not only be the best engineer myself, but also contribute to passing my knowledge on to younger members.